welcome to Intelligence Gateway. What are the privacy challenges of edge computing? Edge computing brings new privacy challenges because it involves processing data at the network edge, closer to the source of the data, rather than sending it to a centralized cloud server. This decentralization of data processing raises concerns about how data is collected, stored, and used, and who has access to it. Some of the privacy challenges of edge computing include 1. Data privacy. Edge devices may collect sensitive data about individuals, such as their location or health information. This data needs to be protected from unauthorized access or disclosure. 2. Security. Edge devices may be vulnerable to cyber attacks, which can compromise the privacy of data stored or processed on these devices. 3. Data ownership. Ownership of data can be unclear in edge computing environments, especially when multiple entities are involved in data processing. 4. Transparency. The use of edge computing can make it difficult to track and monitor data processing activities, making it harder to ensure compliance with privacy regulations. 5. User consent. Users may not be fully aware of how their data is being used in edge computing environments, which can make it difficult for them to provide informed consent. These challenges must be addressed to ensure that edge computing technologies are developed and deployed in ways that protect individual privacy rights. What are the ethical challenges of edge computing? Some of the ethical challenges of edge computing include 1. Privacy and data security Edge devices collect and process data at the edge of the network, which raises concerns about the security and privacy of sensitive information. 2. Fairness and bias. Edge computing relies on artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms that may perpetuate bias and discrimination if they are not designed and implemented with fairness in mind. 3. Transparency and accountability. As edge devices become more autonomous and make decisions on their own, it becomes difficult to hold them accountable for their actions and ensure transparency in the decision-making process. 4. Ownership and control. The ownership and control of edge devices and the data they generate can be a contentious issue, particularly when multiple stakeholders are involved. 5. Environmental impact. Edge computing requires a lot of energy to operate, which can have a negative impact on the environment if not managed properly. What are the regulatory challenges of edge computing? The regulatory challenges of edge computing include issues related to data privacy and security, jurisdictional boundaries, and compliance with various laws and regulations. Edge computing involves processing and storing data at the edge of the network, which can make it difficult to determine which jurisdiction's laws apply to the data. Additionally, edge devices may collect sensitive personal data, which raises concerns about data protection and privacy. Finally, compliance with various regulations such as GDPR, HIPAA, and CCPA can be challenging in an edge computing environment where data is processed and stored across multiple devices and locations. What is the role of software-defined networking, SDN, in edge computing? Software-defined networking, SDN, plays a crucial role in edge computing by providing a centralized approach to managing network resources and optimizing traffic flow between edge devices and the cloud. SDN enables the separation of the network control plane from the data plane, which allows for more efficient and flexible network management. This is particularly important in edge computing, where the network topology and traffic patterns can be dynamic and unpredictable. With SDN, administrators can configure, monitor, and manage the network from a centralized location, making it easier. What is the role of Network Functions Virtualization, NFV, in edge computing? The role of Network Functions Virtualization, NFV, in edge computing is to enable the virtualization of network functions that were traditionally performed by dedicated hardware devices, such as routers, firewalls, and load balancers. By virtualizing these functions, they can be run on generic computing hardware located at the edge of the network, closer to the end users or devices. This helps to reduce latency and improve network performance, as well as increase flexibility and scalability. What is the role of cloud computing and edge computing? 
The role of cloud computing and edge computing is to provide the necessary infrastructure and services to support the processing and storage of data generated by edge devices. Cloud computing can provide resources such as computing power, storage, and networking to support edge computing applications. Additionally, cloud computing can be used to manage and analyze data generated by edge devices, providing insights and actionable information for businesses and organizations. What are the different edge computing use cases? Edge computing has a wide range of use cases across various industries. Some of the most common use cases include 1. Smart cities. Edge computing can be used for managing traffic, reducing energy consumption, and improving public safety. 2. Industrial automation. Edge computing can be used for predictive maintenance, real-time monitoring, and data analytics in manufacturing plants. 3. Healthcare. Edge computing can be used for remote patient monitoring, telemedicine, and mobile health applications. 4. Retail. Edge computing can be used for inventory management, customer engagement, and personalized marketing. 5. Gaming. Edge computing can be used for low-latency gaming, multiplayer online games, and game streaming. 6. Autonomous vehicles. Edge computing can be used for real-time data processing and decision-making in autonomous vehicles. 7. Agriculture. Edge computing can be used for precision farming, crop monitoring, and predictive analytics for weather and soil conditions. These are just a few examples of the many potential use cases for edge computing. What are the different edge computing applications? Some common edge computing applications include Internet of Things, IoT, Devices and Sensors Real-time Data Processing and Analytics Video and Audio Processing for Surveillance and Security Systems Augmented Reality and Virtual Reality Applications Autonomous Vehicles and Drones Healthcare Monitoring and Patient Data Management Retail Inventory Management and Customer Engagement Industrial Automation and Control Systems Gaming and Entertainment Applications What are the different edge computing services? Edge computing services include 1. Edge Data Storage Storage of data closer to the edge devices to reduce latency and improve data processing speed. 2. Edge Analytics Processing of data near the edge devices to enable faster insights and decision making. 3. Edge Networking providing reliable and high-speed connectivity between edge devices and the cloud. 4. Edge security, securing the edge devices and the data they generate from cyber threats. 5. Edge application deployment, deploying and managing applications at the edge to enhance efficiency and reduce network congestion. 6. Edge hardware, providing hardware solutions designed to work with edge computing architecture. What are the different edge computing standards? There are several different edge computing standards, including 1. Open Edge Computing, OEC, a standard developed by the Open Edge Computing Initiative to create an open, interoperable ecosystem for edge computing. 2. EdgeX Foundry, an open source project that provides a vendor-neutral framework for building edge computing solutions. 3. Industrial Internet Consortium, IIC, a global organization that is developing standards and best practices for edge computing in industrial settings. 4. Fog Computing, a standard that extends cloud computing capabilities to the edge of the network, enabling computing resources to be distributed more efficiently. 5. Multi-Access Edge Computing, MECA standard that enables applications to run on the edge of the network, closer to end users, for lower latency and better performance. Thanks for watching. For more information like comment and subscribe our channel.